so children the next topic that today we will learn is blood grouping we all uh, have uh, blood groups you must have heard somebody is having blood group a b a b or o and we also use this this term as ab positive or ab negative so now today in this session we will understand what are these things children uh, let's start blood group were discovered by karl landsteiner you can see his picture so this was a, he was the person who gave us these groups uh, the study of blood groups now this blood group includes abo grouping and it also is has rh grouping which we will study in detail so let's start with abo grouping children now it is based on the presence or absence of two surface antigens now children what are antigen antigen are chemicals that induce immune response so antigens are those chemicals which will induce means which will give you the immune response okay so it is the all the blood groups are based on the presence or absence of two surface antigen now as i see as you see the word surface this means that these antigens are present on the surface of rbcs okay now the antigens are a and b you can see here in the picture here the antigen which is present on the surface of rbc is a in the second one the antigen which is present on the surface of rbc is b in the third picture there are both the antigens are present c antigen a is also there b is also there and in the fourth one no antigen is present neither a nor b so let's see similarly plasma you know what is plasma blood is uh, have blood has two parts one is the liquid part and the other one is the solid part so the liquid part of the blood that is plasma it contains two antibodies so again i'm repeating antigens are present on the surface of rbcs and antibodies are present in the plasma antigens are also of two types antibodies are also of two types what are antibodies these are the proteins produced in response to the antigen if the antigen is present then to give a response to that antigen an antibody will be produced so antibodies are also of two types anti a and anti b okay so let me show you again now in this rbc and there uh, there is antigen a present okay so the reverse antibody will be there in the plasma so if the person is having antigen a then his plasma will have anti b antibodies theek hai just the opposite just the opposite of the antigen similarly in the second case this person is having antigen b so his plasma will have anti a antibodies in this case this person is having both the antigens now because both the antigens are present so no antibody will be there neither a nor b and if the person is having no antigens then both the antibodies are present i hope you have understood again i am repeating the antigens are the chemicals that induce or that will give or that will initiate the immune response antigens are of two types capital a and b they are present on the surface of rbcs similarly plasma has two antibodies these are the proteins which are produced in response to the antigen so whatever is the antigen present just the opposite will be the antibody as you see here in the diagram right now there is a table here which is very easy to understand 
these are the blood groups antigen present on the rbcs antibodies present in the plasma who can donate and who can receive so let's start if the blood group is a suppose the person is having rbcs with antigen a then this person's plasma will have antibodies b okay and the blood group of the person will be a and this person can donate blood to both a and ab now why because if the person is giving blood to another person who is having the same blood group no problem no issues because that person will also have same antibodies right but if the person is donating a blood to a person who is having ab blood group then also you see this person is having no antibodies so no fight is there because antibodies are the thing proteins which fight or which risk give a response okay so no response will be given so no issues hence the person with blood group a can give blood to both a and ab and he can receive the blood from a of course because same antibodies are present or he can receive the blood group from o because o you see has no antigen okay so no fight you see donors so uh, do they can receive blood from a or o next we come to blood group b now this person who is having blood group b has antigen b it will he will have antibodies a and he can donate blood to again b or ab and he can receive blood from b or o next is a person who is having blood group ab will have both the antigens now because he is having both the antigens so no antibodies are present and he can only donate blood to a person having same blood group because if this person wants to give blood to b if he is going to give blood to b now you see the b is having antibodies a so what will happen the antibodies will fight because ab is having no antibodies so this will be uh, lethal or it will not be good for the person and hence the person may die so ab blood group person can donate only to ab but can receive from all the four blood groups that is why we call him as universal recipient because he is receiving blood from all the blood groups last is blood group o this is having no antigens so both the antibodies are present so this o blood group can give blood to any of the other blood groups because both the antibodies are present so no harm but he can receive blood only from its own kind that is o hence o is called universal donor because it is donating to all ab is called universal recipient because it is receiving from all i hope this is quite clear now